Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Boss From Home and I am your career mentor, basically pointing you in the right direction of different legitimate work from home remote jobs that are currently hiring. And this is for all different levels, no matter where you are in your career. So because there are a bunch of work from home job scams out there, I basically help you save time, energy, um, and money because we share so many free resources here, all to help shape you and develop your resume and help you to shine during your interview phase and so much more. So we talk about different side hustle opportunities and this is all to help you improve your finances and also help you meet those goals before the year is done. So if this sounds like something that you're interested in, you're definitely going to enjoy it around here. So we, oh, and we also just received a message last week from a good friend, Michelle Green, who actually applied to the Humana job and was told within hours that she has an invitation to proceed to the hiring process. So yay, so excited for you. And it's so encouraging, even to those of you who are still in the thick of looking for jobs, I don't want you to give up. I don't want you to quit. Keep working on yourself. Keep working on your resume, gaining those skills and applying to these jobs because there is a yes out there for you. So today we have a few jobs to get into. FedEx is currently hiring. And in addition to that job, I'll be sharing one that will actually provide you with the computer company, um, the company computer and equipment. Um, this is going to help you save money and also a no interview and no experience opportunity with a top rated company. So let's get started talking about it right now. Aberdeen is currently looking for a live real time broadcast captioner and this is going to be the opportunity that does not require an interview. So no interview is required at all and no experience is required either. So Aberdeen is a broadcasting company that provides services services like closed captioning, digital file delivery services. They even um, provide language services like translation, multi-language subtitling, and voiceovers. And today they're comprised of three different departments, um, including Aberfast, Abercap, and Aberlingo. So they're rated 4.4 out of 5 on Glassdoor.com for being a good company to work for. Many of their um, current and previous employees mentioned that they love the company culture, the pay and the benefits. And so this is a fully remote work from home opportunity. As you can see, it is fully remote and it is actually one of their only remote job opportunities on their website right now. So they're currently seeking someone who is skilled and experienced to do real-time captioning. And this is going to be where you are completely um, typing as you hear, kind of like translation services, but you are providing real-time captioning for live television programs, making sure that viewers who are deaf or hard of hearing are able to follow along. And you're also offering live captioning services for events like sports games, concerts, conferences, and other live broadcasting events. And in this role, they want you to ensure accuracy. So you're maintaining high accuracy in your captioning, making sure that there are no you know, errors at all. You're captioning the spoken words, sound effects, and speaker identifications as they happen. So you're basically um, giving notation on which speaker is speaking at any given time and also captioning what they're saying. You're monitoring audio feeds. So you're listening to these different live audio feeds, um, the audio that you hear, and you're type, typing captions quickly and accurately, making sure that there is minimal delay between the spoken word and the caption display. So this includes a high level of concentration. You definitely need to be a, a fast typer in this role. Um, they do want you to have typing speed of at least 180 words per minute. So those of you who are fast typers, you're going to love this opportunity. If you don't know um, your typing speed, I highly suggest that you go to typing.com. You can also use that platform to practice your typing to get even better and better so that by the time you get an opportunity with this company, you have full confidence in landing this role and doing what is called. 
So not only are you doing those things, but you're also using their captioning software. You're operating real-time closed captioning software, um, basically to efficiently produce and display these captions in sync with the live audio. You're reviewing this content of upcoming broadcasts to familiarize yourself with any type of specific terminology or names that might be used. You're maintaining equipment, regularly checking and maintaining your captioning equipment, including uh, computers, phone lines. And like I mentioned, you're collaborating with your team members. These team members may be production teams, broadcasters, other captioners. You're making sure that there's a smooth process when you collaborate with those teams. So for this reason, you you do need means of communication. They mentioned two computers, one serving as a backup, and three phone lines. I know that might seem excessive. However, this is a very important role. And because of the nature of it being such an urgent role, you need to be accessed at all time. Like say, for example, there's something that they want you to transcribe really quickly and they want you to divert your focus to something else. You need to be accessed through these different means of technology. So this role is requiring that you have availability for Monday through Sunday. And if you are excited and you want to apply to this role, they do want you to submit your resume, emphasizing your relevant education, your job experience. You do need a resume, but they're not going to interview you. Um, if your qualifications align, you'll be given a, a real-time captioning test, and this will be conducted by dialing into their in-house encoder. And once you have passed the test with 98% accuracy, then they'll follow up with um, contractor options and any next steps moving forward. So Empower is currently looking for a trainer enablement, onboarding, and licensing specialist. And this is the opportunity that will provide you with the company and equipment um, needed to do this role. So Empower is basically a financial services company, and they're basically on a mission to empower financial freedom for different individuals and different organizations. They offer investment, wealth management, and retirement solutions, along with their what they call the free Empower personal dashboard. And this is so that everyone would have a clear and simple understanding of where their finances are are right now and where they're headed. So they want someone who is going to take on their training and enablement onboarding and specialist role. And this person plays a vital role in welcoming and supporting new Empower employees as they go through their licensing process. So this is kind of an HR related role. You're working in conjunction with your colleagues. And so this is a remote position, of course, and it involves you managing and coaching um, these representatives to help them successfully complete their securities licensing study programs. So you're also going to be making sure that all new hires are properly set up with um, system access, security, and technology to perform their job functions and their training. So in addition to that, you'll also be overseeing the scheduling of licensing exams, making sure that timely completion is done, and you're also managing any necessary retakes. So responsibilities also include you providing project management support for different processes like promotions, transitions, um, coaching, disciplinary actions, of course, and performance reviews. So achieving headcount targets and also retaining consultants through hiring, training, coaching, and recognition programs is something that they need. Um, you, in this role, you'll be helping to retain these um, hires, helping them to get more acclimated, more comfortable with their role. And you might be also addressing things like, say, for example, licensing exam difficulties. So say if a new hire is struggling with their licensing exam, you are going to provide any type of additional study resources that they might need, any one-on-one -on -one coaching, or arrange for a retake for the test if needed. And also, you'll be addressing, um, say, onboarding delays. So if there's any delay in the onboarding process. You're going to be addressing this by making sure that um, new hires have timely access to any type of necessary systems that they need access to, security, and the technologies as well. 
And in this role, like I mentioned, it is very much like human resources. You are going to be identifying and addressing any performance issues early, and you're providing things like coaching, feedback, additional training to help these employees meet their goals, and also implementing any strategies to improve employee um, satisfaction and retention as you're you'll be introducing or you may be introducing things like say um, awards programs where they're recognized for their hard work or mentoring or even creating a positive work environment these are things that you have full responsibility for and so in this role they do want you to have at least a bachelor's degree in a related field so if you have a degree in say business human resources this is definitely going to go well for you but I always say I mean if it were me applying and I didn't have the bachelor's degree but I had other things in place other qualifications and skills that were strong to this role I would not allow the lack of having a bachelor's degree to stop me and as far as experience they want you to have at least two years of experience directly related to training and development if you have ever been a supervisor or manager or you were responsible for helping to train your your colleagues and help them to understand certain technologies, how things work, um, give them, say, mini training uh, sessions or so forth, that applies to you, right? So knowledge of training methods is also something they want, experience facilitating and conducting these training sessions as well. If you have financial services experience, it's preferred but not required at all. Um, so if you have that and it's on your resume, you might be considered preferred um, above the other candidates applying and strong communication skills that comes with you say those of you who have customer service background and you were needed to communicate answer a lot of uh, different questions comments concerns about different uh, products or services that people were interested in maybe you have sales experience and you previously were required to reach out to people and follow up with them seeing if they're still interested in purchasing a certain process, a certain uh, service or product, you have communication skills, all right? Adaptability, collaboration, leadership as well. Um, and so when we scroll down, we will see all of the great benefits that they do provide. So many great benefits, especially for those of you who are currently in school. You are going to be reimbursed for your tuition up to $5,250 a year. So that takes off so much of tuition um, costs because we know that school can be very expensive. They're going to reimburse you as you go to school. And as we scroll down a little bit more, we're going to see the pay. They're going to pay you almost six figures. So starting off $70,000 right off the bat. And this is all based on different factors like say where you're located if you are located in a high paying state um, if you have work experience education any licenses that apply to this role or skill levels that are very important to this role if you've got those in place you might land yourself on the higher end of this salary range and the highest uh, part of that range being nearly a hundred thousand dollars a year which is amazing and for the remote positions, they do want you to come in with the high-speed internet with wired connection as well. And you must be reliable for this connectivity. Other necessary computer equipment will be provided. So they want you to know that you get to save on computer equipment when you are working with this company. This is going to help you save money and not have to furnish your entire work uh, from home space. They're helping you as you help them as well. So this is a great opportunity. And this posting will be up. Actually, they do mention here June 29th. So make sure that you apply before then, because after that date, they might take this listing down. It's good that they let you know that, right? <laughs> okay, so FedEx. FedEx is currently looking for a program manager. And this program manager is going to be 
um, working with FedEx DataWorks, this is a full-time remote job where you can work from home, and this involves you helping to plan and manage different projects. So this role includes you finding and recommending new technologies, um, new methods that's going to help improve how things are done. And so you're also responsible for collecting and analyzing data to per perhaps predict financial and performance outcomes. So in this role, you'll need to juggle different tasks while they're coming up with creativity. So you should know about agile and software development processes and have some experience leading projects. You'll also be working on launching new pro products and making sure that they grow and adapt over time. So in this role, of course, communication is key. You'll need to be working with different departments, explaining complex information in simple ways. If you have a knack for that, this is going to be amazing for you. You're guiding others to understand the um, project goals and priorities. And so experience working with fast growing tech companies and any previous work with FedEx is going to be a plus. So this is going to shout so loud to those of you who are currently working in FedEx and you want to work from home. Perhaps you want to get paid better. This is the role that's going to actually look at those of you who have previous work at FedEx um, with priority. All right. So as we talk about these different job, you know, responsibilities, there are things that you may be doing, like, say, for example, project delay management. So say if a project is falling behind schedule, you're going to be looking into any type of causes, why this might be happening, and also finding solutions to get everything back on track. And say when multiple departments are involved in a project, you're going to be helping to make sure that everyone is aligned, working well, everyone is on one page. And you might also evaluate and recommend new technologies that could improve the outcomes of these projects also helping to integrate these technologies into existing processes and budget overrun. So say if a project is um, going over budget and the company is expected to pay more than they initially wanted to, you might analyze that financial data to find any cost saving measures and also in doing this keep the project within budget helping to save the company money all right so this this job is pretty important it's pretty multifaceted however they don't ask for too much if you've got say a minimum of two years experience in project or program management um, this is going to be great for you if you have any type of, say, systems, uh, design or development or even business and financial planning and analysis work. This is great for you. All right. They only want at least two years and even experience with the use of project management and planning software, as well as if you have experience in planning major projects, including the development of project proposals, business cases, schedules, financial jurisdiction, and so forth. So this particular job listing does not include the pay. However, I will look at glassdoor.com and list that at the bottom of the screen right now. If you have any need for accommodations, if you have any disabilities and you need help with say the application process or anything moving forward, they do have an email that you can contact them via and that's listed right here. So if you don't have experience at all and you want to work from home and you wanna find a good job, the hunt might be challenging, but it's certainly possible to find a good job. And we spoke briefly about a few things that you can do in our previous video but today I want to touch more on other things that you can do to set yourself up well to get a job with no experience so first thing I want to talk about is your it's really important to highlight your transferable skills this is the point that I briefly touched on before but in short you need to identify your skills from say other areas in your life and this can be from past volunteer work, maybe school projects that you've picked up, 
extracurricular activities that are relevant to the job that you want. And this is going to be maybe your verbal communication skills that display, say, how well you're able to convey information clearly and effectively, or your great written communication skills that show your proficiency to write emails well, write reports and other documents as well. And other transferable skills may be your time management skills, your planning, your conflict resolution skills, technical skills, um, leadership, attention to detail, and your ability to adapt as well. So these transferable skills can be used to write your resume and your cover letter as well. So another thing that you can do to get a job with no experience is to network. This is really important. I know that this is an area that seems scary and a little superficial. However, it is crucial if you have absolutely no experience or qualifications at all. So connecting with professionals in your desired field, it can be through, say, reaching out via networking events, um, informational interviews, maybe social media. And so you can use platforms like LinkedIn that's going to help you show, showcase your skills, connect with people within, say, a company or position you desire. And you can even set up a virtual coffee date and ask them questions. So you can always engage by commenting, reposting, or writing industry-related content. And this is all gonna help you increase your visibility. So the next point that's opened so many doors for me is showing enthusiasm and willingness to learn. So employers value um, job candidates who are eager and who are willing to learn. So it is crucial for you to highlight your passion for the field and your commitment to developing necessary skills on the job. So those are just a few tips on how you can set yourself up well to find a job without any experience at all. Like I said, it is pretty tough, but it's not impossible and I don't want you to give up or quit. Keep working on yourself, keep looking for different resources, keep developing networking, getting outside of your bubble, and you will definitely grow as you are stepping out of your comfort zone and connecting with other individuals in your field. And also identifying your transferable skills is going to show employers, future employers, how you qualify for the position that you're looking for based on some of the things that you've done in the past. So don't quit, keep working on yourself, keep meeting new people, there is a yes out there for you. I just want to stress that again and again. So there you go, guys. Those are all the jobs that I have for you. And we shared how you can get a job with no experience at all, different things that you can do to freshen up, to sharpen your skills, and also to understand how to network and communicate with other people. I hope that this video helped you guys tremendously. I hope it added value. If it did, why don't you go ahead and like this video. Subscribe if you felt the vibe, you know. <laughs> That's my little corny saying, but I hope that you guys enjoy the corniness and the value content, all right? So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Subscribe. We have so much coming very soon. I'm going to be sharing very soon. I know, I know, I know, but I'm going to be sharing soon. Just wanted to get everything straight. Um, Basically, I'm working on something that's going to be very helpful for you guys, and it's going to help you um, get help from experts. So in short, just subscribe so that you are notified when um, I let you guys know, which is very soon. Actually, this week, I think. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you had a wonderful weekend and you're looking forward to a wonderful week coming up. Um, let us know down below what kinds of jobs that you're looking for. If you enjoy the jobs here, any jobs that you looked for that you actually applied to, let us know. Thank you so much for watching once again. I'll see you in the next one.